Hello everybody, and it's time to do a barrel, and we are once again in Monster Hunter Stories 2. Uh, I forget what happened when we last left off. I think we just put the Mitsune. Yeah, we just put the Mitsune, the Rage Raid Mitsune, that's right. Um, so today we're going to just do more story, as is normal. But, what I might do is, in the next couple of episodes, I might have a, I might have a bit of a backtracking episode where we just go and fight the royal monsters, so that might come in the next couple of episodes. I reckon probably... Maybe not next episode, the episode after? We'll see. We'll have a wait and see. We'll see what happens. But definitely soon. Definitely soon. So for now, we're just going to do some more story. We're going to head to wherever the next place we could go to go to is. I'm assuming probably the volcano, which we've heard talk about but haven't been to yet. So let's get started. So it looks like we have to speak to um, Sarge here, or Orgo, whatever you want to call him. So here we go. Probably a cutscene or two. Anywho, about Ratha, another feline told me a real doozy of a story. Yeah? I don't know if it had those destructive wings, but a long time ago, there was a Raphalos with an unbelievable power. Its legend is written on a monument in some old village. Where's the village? Beyond the Turga Volcano is what I heard. Maybe you can figure out something about Ratha there. We gotta check this out, buddy. Hmm. There's a village called New Arte in that region. But I've heard it's even more secluded than Ruto. We gotta go, right? It's our best bet for learning about Ratha. True. This is no time for dithering. Let's go. Thank you for telling us, Orgo. Time to split up, it would seem. We'll continue our investigation on the pits. We'll be sure to let you know if we procure any new intel. Okay, got it! Watch out for the masked riders who are after Ratha. Stay alert. Tsukino, let's move out. Yes, let's go. So long for now. We better get going, too! I can take you as far as the volcano. Give me a holler when you're ready to go. Will do! Alrighty then. Whoop, hang on. Oh, I almost forgot. If you pass over to a volcano, you're definitely gonna need this. Cool drinks? Uh, you gotta use cool mist in hot places. You run out, you can grab some more from the market and we'll see. Chasing legends. I should have read that. My bad. I don't think I can read that now either. Uh, let's have to see if I can. Mm, no, I don't think I can. Whoops. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Ah, there we go. What is what is Ray's Ring Ratha? What's causing life in the pits and why? With so many unanswered questions, all Kyle can believe is now in, in now is the power of kinship between Ryder and Monsty. Except you as a friend and and you head to the monument that, dis that depicts the Rathalosis legend. Alright, so there we go. Uh, now we should be able to also make cool drinks. So let's see if we have enough just to make a few. Cool mist. How many do we have? We currently have five on us. Let's make another five. Hopefully we won't need that many, but we will see. We will see. Alright, so there we go. So he said talk to him when we're ready. Okay, take me. Uh, he's gonna take me. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, yes, yeah, take me. Oh wait, what? Okay, I don't understand. That was weird. Alright, we should be fine with our armor and weapons. We were fine here for our armor and weapons. Let's go with an afternoon episode, why not? So, let's head to the volcano, and probably die lots. I don't know if I will actually die or not, but we'll find out when we get there. I could probably fly, but I still want to keep an eye out for some rare dens, and we might find a monster fight a monster before we leave. But yeah, this area was kind of short. What did we do? We did uh, two major fights, and a... And then a Rage Ray, I think it was. There's a red one over there. I would not mind to grab a Laggy Acris either, so if we if we do somehow manage to find a way to get one of those, I will definitely, definitely be using that. So we do want to try to find one of those at the same time. But I'm not gonna rush I'm not gonna run around like a headless chicken looking for it. What I'll do is I'll have a quick look around while I'm playing, and if we can't find it, I might just find it off screen. But definitely worth a try looking in these rare dens. It will be a uh, it will be a Leviathan egg. So we know what a Leviathan looks looks like, and I imagine it'll probably be white and blue or blue and white. Either way, it'll be very it'll be a variation of those colors, I would assume. But I don't want to say that and then be wrong. So we'll see. Okay, so for once, it looks like we actually can use our ivory climb here. We sure do. Look at that. How awesome is that? 
And of course, we do also have a new monster that can do that too, but we probably won't see him. Now, I do know, I do, did say that I wanted to show off each monster's, um, or at least check out each monster's ability, at least once. And the way I'm going to do that is, I'm pretty much going to do it near the end. So, I'm going to just keep doing, keep my team as it is, or keep my team how I want it to be, I should say, not as it is, because it might still change. And then we'll go through, like, we'll do like a special episode. It might, it might even be like a live stream episode, I haven't really decided yet. Where it's nothing but just getting one of each of the the alts, like the monster alts. Oh wow, are you serious right now? Are you, are you serious right now? Okay, so this is a laggy Chris den. So that is really good news. So I'm going to try to get one of its eggs. I do want to get a golden one of its eggs, but if I can't get a golden one of its eggs, that's okay. That's okay. I'll honestly take anything if it's a laggy Chris. I love laggy Chris. And we do want to try to get a better Mitsune egg at some point too, but for now... Where are the eggs? Oh, they're right under him. Alright, this is not risky in the slightest. Oh, wow, really? <sighs> oh, This is a pink Lunar Earth, but... It's rainbow. Oh, I don't have a rainbow pink Lunar Earth. Alright, we're taking this. I, I really, really wanted the laggy Chris, but... Rainbow trumps everything, so... That's super unfortunate. That's super duper unfortunate. Damn it. Okay, well, yeah, that was what I was worried about, was as soon as I start looking for eggs, it's going to be like either something I have or something I don't have, but something better. So unfortunately, that trumps everything. That was the rule that we did. Rainbow trumps everything, so that does trump everything. So Rainbow wins. <laughs> so I might have to come back for a leggy cross egg, but that's okay. I can do that in my own time. Um, so we'll just I'll just update you guys if that happens. For now, we're going to head to the volcano. Yep. Tigra, Tigra, Tigra Volcano Trail. I don't know how to say it. I apologize. I'm probably butchering it. I butcher a lot of things when it comes to names. I'm bad with names. Oops. Oh, I keep pressing. The, why do I keep pressing that button? I think it's because I, I think it's because of the way that the um thing. It's so hot that my whistle is untangled. Now I now I know I'm well. Now I know how well on sync feels. Time to use cool, Mr. Hand, you early. Nobody likes the smell of flame and feline or roasted rider. Alright, so there we go. So it is suggesting we use a cool mist now. Which is... Where the heck is it? Oh my goodness gracious. There it is. Alright. There we go. Now we could probably get some fire monsters as, monsters as well. Like, that's probably something we can get. But for now, we don't have, we don't have any. So we're just going to do what we're going to work with what we have. And there's a rock blocking our way, great. Let's find out what we need for this then. Son of a gun lance, there's a huge border block in the way. I doubt even I can scratch through a volcanic rock. Glad I can prepare for little hitches like this. Here, there's a feeling like barrel bomb should do the trick. Nice. That's not going to annoy anyone. Jumping Jaggy, that thing's powerful. Positively caudacious, or what? Feline barrel bombs can be made with the terra with the terra nitro shrooms that grow here. No worrying about boulders getting in the way, huh? Let's see, let's be sure to gather any nitro shrooms we find. Alrighty, so there we go. So we are looking for, look, keeping an eye out for nitro shrooms, and we do have a new monster here, so we will fight this. I uh, can't remember what these guys are called. I think they're like candles or something like that. They're the little versions of the big one, though. So that may, yeah, there you go. So there, uh. Or Orctus? Yeah, Orctus. Uh, I don't know what they're going to be. I'm assuming probably speed, actually. I'll be a little bit shocked at their power. Oh, their technique. Okay, well, that was my second guess, so... That does make sense. These guys like to dig underground and stuff, so I'm not super shocked that their, that their um, thing is... Um, technique. Yeah, I mean, it was okay, I suppose. If it keeps doing it's gonna be a problem. Wow, these guys are actually quite powerful. Alright, I might have to be more careful than what I'm doing. Um, for now, let us get a power monster out. There we go. Now we can do a bit more damage to these guys rather than just, you know, tickling them. So, but they don't seem to care for swords. Let's switch to our bow. It's gonna do a little bit more damage to the bow. Anytime I can do more damage is always a plus, so I'm not gonna complain. There we go, get a power attack right off there. Sorry, a uh, dual attack right off there. Kill it. Okay, so they're not they're not very powerful HP-wise. They just do a lot of damage. So I'll have to watch for that. 
Oh, even still, that attack wasn't all that special. It was just that it, it did that Molten one really early. And they are weak to Hammer. Interesting. I feel like a lot of stuff in the Volcano will be weak to Hammer, because a lot of stuff in the Volcano is probably going to be uh, rock-based. So I've got a feeling we're going to see a lot of things weak to... This will probably be the area where everything's like weak to Hammer, or like weak to Blunt. So, And luckily my Blunt weapon is also water, so... Double. Haha, <laughs> you missed me! doing this for heals more than anything else, but it's also really cool to just obliterate a little guy with a ridiculously overkill attack. Sky high dive! And he's dead. <laughs> there you go, that wasn't too bad. So, that won't give me anything special because they're just little little guys, but we'll see a lot, we'll see a lot of them. Uh, they'll also be paired up with their bigger brother. They gave us a bunch of scales and some bones, so nothing too interesting. But they'll probably be paired up with their bigger brother, the Yorkantor. And uh, he will probably obliterate me if I give him the chance to, so I'm going to try not to let him get the chance. So I guess we're looking for Nitro Shrooms then. Alright. Well, here we go then. Let the church begin. Yeah, so in the, um... When I do do the, um... I've blanked on what they're called. The Royal Monsters. I'll probably try to do even the older ones if I can find them. That's why I'm thinking about making it a live stream, because then that way I can just be lost for an hour. <laughs> so, yeah. But for now, we'll just get the story, more of the story done. And, yeah, we'll go from there. We got a barrel bomb there. So we've got two barrel bombs now, so it's really... So we'll head back and get that first one. Although I don't think I can do anything. I don't think I can get that box. I think I need to jump... Oh, uh, not the box. The, um... Oh, it is a box. It's a treasure box, isn't it? Yeah, it's two treasure boxes there. And I think I need jump for the other one. Oh, wait, no. I need, um... This one. Ah, there we go. Ground dive. Yay! Which I think I have. Yes, I think my Barrett does that, doesn't it? Yeah. My Jared Barrett does do that. I think my monsters are starting to get weak too, just because they're, they're, um, like the Jade Barrett, for example, it's a monster from the ice, and we're now up to the volcano, so we're a few, we're a few levels behind, um, where we should, probably should be. Like, we're a few areas, not levels, we're a few areas behind with our monsters, so. I know that there's definitely, I know that there's better monsters, in the sense that I know that there's, um, monsters that do the, well, do the job better, that's, that's there's no kick and or but about that, so, there's other digging monsters that can, that do more damage, or there's other digging monsters that might be water, or there's other things like that, so, yeah, I might switch my party up, depending on how much we struggle in here, but for now it should be fine, just saying. Oh, I spent a bomb to gain a bomb. Awesome. Well, that's never... I'm never going to complain about that. If I, have, if I get a bomb every time I spend a bomb, then I'm not going to complain. It means I'm just going to spend more bombs. I did ignore that Ruby Basarius. Um, that's because we fought the Ruby Basarius multiple times. Oh, we do have a new little... Oh, ooh, we have a new big one, Steve. Alright, here we go. So this is an Aya Drome, uh, and the little ones are called Aya, Aya Prey or Aya... Yeah, Aya Dromes and Aya Preys. Um, they're pretty... they're pretty weak. They're basically Jaggy and Gen Prey and all that status of weak. So they won't last very long, like, fortunately. They'll still last a bit because they are in the volcano. But yeah, as you can see, that, that one over there is already drooling. And I'm going to assume that just like all of their brethren, they're probably going to be speed. So let's swap out the monster two. And if I'm wrong, then whoops. <laughs> Alright, so that one's probably dead. If, if I'm right and it's speed, then that one's probably dead. And we get the little one's weaknesses while they're, while they're here. They're not going to be here for very long. Yeah, so they were speed. I was absolutely spot on. Just like the others. That's one down. And I think the other one's probably going to go down too. Yep, that's two down. So now we just need to focus on the uh, Iodrome. So I always thought it was a uh, low drone and low prey. I didn't realize it was a, a eye. In hindsight, it makes sense, but I just didn't think. I wasn't like, oh man, it's definitely an eye. I just thought it was an L. I don't know why I thought it was an L. I just thought it was an L. But um, no, it's an eye. So if I ever call them low drones, it's because I'm not thinking. <laughs> so it is mad. Oh, what's going to go to when it's mad? Um, I probably would go to technical if I was mad, but if it's power, then it's just going to draw anyway, so let's get Rather out again. 
Of course, he's gonna go for the one that he's gonna lose against. Why would he? Why would he? Do, why, why would he? Why wouldn't he do that? Go for him. There we go. Thank you. And then we'll use the glaive, the thing on it instead. And then we'll go with power. There we go. And it went with power. All right. Well, that's fine. Yes, as you can see, these ones do poison, so... But, um, we can also poison this one. Oop, and there we go. Ooh, and it does unfortunately hit, so... That's not super great. Whoa, what the heck? Had a little bit of trouble with that one. Don't know why. Ah, uh, no. Alright, so... It is attacking me, but Wrath is really hurt, so we're gonna swap him out. No Zemkiris again, why not? What does the M Church goes for the other one now? Of course. Of course. Uh, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a speed skill. No, he doesn't. So we're going to get him to uh, just come over here with us. So I don't know if these guys are weak to water, but in theory, every nearly everything here should be weak to water. So. Because uh, they're on the volcano, but that doesn't necessarily mean they will be. And this one is. This one is weak to water. Or ice. Either way, I have that weakness. That's all that matters. Ooh, that's unfortunate. That is very unlucky. That wasn't even my fault there. That was just that the Zemtrius there unfortunately got crit struck rather than regular struck. So, yeah, he took a bit more damage than he was supposed to there. Now, I could heal that, but I'm not going to just yet because there's no point. There's a few ways I can heal it too, but we'll see. We'll, we'll try to get this thing out of... Um, no, never mind, it's dead. Alright, never mind then. Alright, so we're going to try to use Wrath for the next match. So we are going to have to heal his poison. Unless it heals on anything, in which case, I don't know. Uh, but what did we get? So we got some low prey stuff. More low prey. There we go. So we got some... There we go. I caught low prey already. Uh, so we got some Eyedrum Hide and some Eyedrum Scales and a Violet Scale, which is, I assume, in from the big guy. So that was his Uncommon Drop, I think. I didn't see what his other one was. I'm assuming his hide is his common drop, so... Yeah, you know, not super, super worth writing around about. Okay, take a bomb. Now, of course, knowing that I have to get a bunch of mushrooms means I'm going to explore every nook and cranny. Yep, and that's why. Because I bet you if I'm one mushroom short, I won't be able to get something later on. So, let's quick here. Can we do that? Am I out of donuts? I bet you I'm out of donuts. If we'll let me quick kill, I'm probably out of donuts. So let's see. Um, I mostly just want to uh, heal Rath's poison. So I should have an antidote of some kind. Yeah, I do. There we go. To Rath. And I guess I don't have any donuts. So I'll make some donuts as well. Why not? Donuts can we make? Oh, we can make tons of these. Let's just make a ton of these. Let's make like 30 of these. Confirm. Oh, confirm. Yep, there we go. We can make a few of these too, so why not? I don't know if each donut does anything differently, but having them is better than not having them, so... There we go. Uh, HP is being restored. Awesome. Can we go up this way? Uh, no, so this one we... Do, I do need jump there. I do not have a jumping monster at the moment. And the reason for that is that I just don't. <laughs> I don't really have an excuse. It's just I just don't have a jumping monster. I probably should, but... I would need a monster... It would need to be a monster with jump and something else. I mean, almost with just jump seems kind of useless to me. Uh, so we do need to try to avoid this, this Ruby Vasarius, and I have successfully avoided this Ruby Vasarius. Hopefully, he doesn't spot me while I'm semi visible. No, he hasn't. Good, 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 good. Open the chest, buddy. There we go. A finding charm. Okay, I don't know what that one does. What do we get up here? Is that a Tiger X again? Uh, why are there just Tiger Xs everywhere now? That's so boring. Like, at least make it interesting. Like, make it a Molten Tiger X or something. Don't just be like, here, have another Tiger X. Like, even the last zone, it was just another Brute Tiger X. There's like, Tiger X is everywhere, and then Brute Tiger X. Why? Give me something cool. Give me something unique. Give me something new. Don't give me the same freaking thing I've had like four times already. Jeez. But alright, whatever. Yeah, it's just a regular, regular plain Tiger X. How boring. Alrighty, so what's up over here? Can we go up here? No, so yeah, once again we need we need jump. Well, that's unfortunate. There's a couple of treasure boxes that I didn't, I didn't get here, but that's okay. 
We do have a burrow here already. Alright, well that normally means that a boss fight's coming up. So, what how much time have I got left? Ah, oh, we got time for it. We got time for a boss fight. Alright, cool. So let's go in, and we'll heal up, and then I guess we'll do the boss fight, because it looks like I need... It looks like that's what I'm going to be doing. A cover, please. That does mean eating those donuts was completely useless and pointless, but look, sometimes it happens. <laughs> Gourmet steaks. All right, I think steaks heal us. I think they're like a potion if I don't have any potions kind of thing. I'm not certain, super certain about that. So let's just break this one. A big ring. Uh, let's see what we got here. So we got some more collectibles, another chest, poison knives. All right, so they're pretty good, but I'm never going to use them like ever. But we'll see what happens. Is that a Gravios? Oh, we do have a new monster. You know what? You know what? We will fight the boss in the next episode. We're going to fight a Gravios today. <laughs> so here we go. So we do have a Gravios here. Um, this is like... best way to describe this is like the... The... Bizarrios is like older brother kind of thing. Because it's not a variant of the Bizarrios. So I can't stress that enough. It's a... It's a completely unique monster. And, um, it does have very similar attacks, though, which I'm sure we're about to experience. Yes. So, it will, it will throw its body around like the, like the, reg like the Basarius does, like the Ruby and the Basarius do. But, um, it's also going to have, like, lasers and stuff like that. It's going to have all sorts of wonderful things to throw at me. I don't really want to take its hit, so I'm going to do this. And hit it back instead, because I don't want to think it's hit, because it's going to hurt a lot if it does. I bet. That did a lot of damage to the, kit, the country, which is good. So we're going to see. Yeah, so there you go. I took 17 damage. So yeah, I've definitely got the good enough armor for this. Although in saying that, I just got a really big hit from here. Ah, uh, let's already ride this man. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, let's deal with this. Um, we are going to take a hit from the Basarius, but in saying that, let's deal with this country first. Yeah. Just because it's a lot harder to take out a Conchu than it is to take out a Bessarius when your monster's already going to do... Holy heck! Wow! Did not expect that. That was insane damage. Alright. This thing doesn't mess around. I have to be very careful not to bugger up any attacks here then. If I can get onto my... Um, if I can get onto the... Naga before it takes another hit, before it attacks again, then we'll be fine. Otherwise, this could be problematic. Like this, for example. What are you doing, Naga? Come on, you're on one HP. You need to constantly be using this attack. Even the music is menacing. I'm glad we healed up at the um, feline den, though. That was a really good idea. All right, so I should. Be oh, it is asleep. Oh, we could use that. We could use that to our advantage. Let it sleep. Nine night, nine night, Gravios. I'm going. I'm going to be a, bit, a little bit naughty here. I'm actually going to uh, not ride. I'm going to get him to use killer. Let's see what we got. High chance of crit. Fairly high chance of crit. Medium knowledge. So ooh, let's try. Let's try. Uh, let's go with killer tail instead. All right. We'll hit his. Uh, go for his head. And then we're gonna we're gonna be a little bit sneaky. We're also gonna. Get a bit big here. Oh, can I do that with this? No, I can. I'm gonna switch weapons. Yes, I am talking a bit quieter because we've got to be quiet. The monster's gonna wake up if we're too loud. So we're gonna be a little bit naughty here. Which one should we go with? Uh, let's go with. Well, what is this moment's power? Let's go with fresh slash speed. Oh, let's give him a rude, awa rude awakening, everybody. Here we go. Nothing but crits. <laughs> Oh, we woke him up, boys. What happened? <laughs> ah, no crit, but good damage. Good damage over that killer tail for sure. But that's okay. We can keep. We can keep on going. We can keep on going. We um, it's still it's still power, so we've still got a lot of advantage against this guy. And we can, of course, now jump onto our Naga. There we go. And he's basically fully healed. I think he's like one HP off or something like that. But he's basically fully healed. And we'll continue to go for the head because it's almost broken at this point. So much under he doesn't head to head. 
Ooh, 75. So I can get two of those off before I have to be a bit careful about it. So let's get two of those off. Okay. Okay, so the first one must have been a crit then. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. There we go. So we're going to hit it pretty hard here. Now this may cause it to go berserk, or it may cause it to do another thing, or it might just cause it to be very well behaved. Okay, I guess not. This thing doesn't seem to be very aggressive. Like, it's not getting angry or anything. It's just kind of big. But I'm sure it will get angry. No monster stays calm forever. Let's go for its stomach thing. Being a monster that I can... Being not a boss, which is really good, uh, means I can kind of get the thing as... There we go. So it has become... Uh, it has become mad. I'm assuming it's probably gone tech. So I'm gonna ride here. And I'm gonna hope that I'm right. Let's hope it tech let's hope it has gone the tech. Yes, it has gone tech. Awesome. Which means that with a bit of luck, I can charge off of it. Like so. Yeah. And then it's probably going to go for a thing attack, so let's turn it off. Oh no, it didn't! It went for a, something else! Alright, so this one is a little bit different. Normally they go two attacks and then they do an ult, but this one doesn't seem to do that. So he is going to go for his ult now. Oh no, this is not great. Um, who's got charge in him? Um, we can make a hit. Alright, let's go with, let's go with the, um, Ratha here. Yeah? She came in with a bit more charge, but that's okay. And we're going to go with Absolute Evasion, which I don't think I have. No. Anyway, it's alright, we've got Guard, we've got Guard, we can do that. And hopefully, um, Rathi here doesn't take too much damage either. But we'll see. It's spreading beam, alright, here we go. Okay, so Rathi evaded it, and I was. Not only did I deflect, not only did I block um, to prevent the damage. I also managed to get Divine Blessings kick, kick in, so that basically means that it did nothing to me, which is absolutely incredible, and completely broken, and I love it. <laughs> so we are going to go for the legs here now. Alright. These battles are getting longer and longer the more I do them, so the more that I, um, yeah, the further in we get, so definitely worth, definitely worth doing. Gives me a little bit more stuff to fight, gives me a new enemy or two here and there. Oop, it is getting low, so probably the next ult will probably kill it if it doesn't die before I get there. But we will try to get there for sure. It's two, because we go with one more. We've got one more? No, no, so it has got mad. Oh shoot, what does it become? Technical. So I didn't need to switch out to a power monster. Given we just had Ratharat, makes sense to bring Rathar back. But the Jade Breath comes with more energy, so we'll, we'll bring him instead. We might be able to kill him before he gets a chance to bolt, but it's going to be close, I reckon. Nope, nope, didn't want that. Definitely do not want speed. Want power. There we go. He's going with sleep gas, but we're going to shut that down immediately. Yep, so that's one. He's going to go for another one. He is, he is. So we're going to go for another one ourselves. That's two. So this guy does three and then heals, is that right? Let's find out. Yes, yeah, so he's gonna go for one more. Um, hmm. Do I wanna take the risk? You know what, I'm not gonna take the risk. I normally would, but because I don't want that ult to come out, I don't want that super ult to come out, I'm gonna actually be a little bit safer. If this kills him, so be it. If it doesn't, then I can ult him next turn and stop his super. So it didn't, so we're gonna stop his super instead. That's fine. That's fine by me. Much rather stop a super than I would um, to take the hit from it. There we go, and the Gravios is down. So that was pretty good. Pretty good battle. And I seem to have got a um, accolade too. I'm not sure what the accolades actually do for me, but it's still nice to get one. So here we go. So it looks like we do have probably its uncommon drop. So we got um, Kenshu stuff, which is pretty normal. Why is my why am I not moving? What's going on here? All right, you can't move. I forgot. It's one of those ones where you press A. Yeah, it's conscious stuff. So we have its sculpt, which is its uncommon. Its shell, which is its common. More conscious stuff. More sculpts and a sleep stack. So that's not too bad. Not too bad. No rare, but definitely a lot of uncommons. I think that allows us to get the armor. Probably a weapon. Probably one of each, actually. 
Uh, let's see, six and six. Yeah, that's that works. Yep, you just need 12 points to get one of each. All right, so let's head back to the den. And when we get back to the den, I'll heal up again. And then in the next episode, we will fight the boss. Right, got to get off. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, whenever there's a den, there's normally a boss. So I'm going to assume there's definitely 110% a boss. So there we go. We'll heal up like normal. And there we go. So yeah, next time we'll get to that boss and we'll probably find our way to the village. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, wherever you are, stay safe and be well.